Good afternoon everyone, it's March 29th, 2024, and this is FSD Beta version 12.3.1 in our 2018 Performance Model 3. This is Test Loop 1. It's been some time since I've done these videos, but was waiting for a major version release to, uh, to start showing what I'm seeing that's different on my test loops. In 500 feet, turn right onto Plum Canyon Road. First thing I'm noticing, it's not slowing for parked vehicles along the side. Now That's a nice right addition change road. fix. Okay, let's see how it handles the stop sign. It's all clear to the left. It's taken a while to come to a complete stop. There's cars coming if it goes now. It's hesitating too long and now there's traffic. So that took a little too long to make a decision and it took too long to come to a complete stop. A lot of cars coming from the left. Won't be able to move for a little bit here. Okay, three more cars in this right lane. Three, two, one. Okay, it's going with the car in the left lane, which is new. Keeping it tight into the bike lane there. It's coming out of it. I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to snapshot that. I'll figure it out. So that's an improvement. It actually went where there was someone in the left lane, which is kind of not allowing for an exit path um, for defensive driving. You should wait until you have a you know multiple paths open if you need to do an offensive maneuver but it uh it was more efficient than previously the next major one to look for is this merge after we turn right onto bouquet canyon road to see how it handles it So I do have the new auto speed control. It's kind of, In oh, it's just, feet, I'm saying it's kind of dragging right itself, but it's just giving a gap here, which is good. Now I'm going to tap the accelerator. It's a little too slow. Now turn right onto Bouquet Canyon Road. right turn now let's see how it does the merge oh it's merging finally merges instead of running along following the white line okay so that that is good okay now we're gonna make a left turn onto Ben's Road and we're gonna hit a few speed bumps and a couple stop signs that it always had a few issues with in terms of treating the stop signs in an efficient way in 1,000 feet Turn left onto Bent Road. Okay, nice early signal because we started decelerating to let the person behind me know what I'm road. doing. Okay, good. Nice, efficient entry into the left turn lane. Good, decide to wait for this truck. Now it should go, there we go. Okay, speed bump number one. Not slowing. Vehicle didn't slow for speed bump. Okay, so it missed that first speed bump. Over 20 miles an hour is way too fast. Okay, full stop and go. That was pretty good. That was pretty efficient for a full stop. Okay, now this one, it usually sits out way too long and creeps forward for visibility. Okay, good. Oh, and it looked like it was gonna do it, but it, it actually decided to go. Excellent, that was much better. Okay, speed bump number two. Oh, it's slowing down. Feet, turn there we go. Onto Copper Hill Drive. 13, that's, that's not bad. Okay, so the second one it saw. Okay, last, well, okay, second last stop sign. Go, perfect. Okay, so definitely an improvement in those stop signs and nice acceleration. 
Now turn left Last onto speed Copper bump. Hill Drive. Ugh, didn't quite see that one either. Okay, now this stop sign sometimes creates a bit of a problem for it, but it's creeping up to the right spot. Okay, I got lots of traffic from the left and one far in the right. So it could go if it goes now. Okay, it hesitated, so it can't go. Okay, car from the left and one more from the right, so it can go after this one. There we go. That was fine. Okay, it's going into the middle lane. This isn't, okay. Vehicle didn't enter travel lane and was in the middle turn lane. Set my destination back to the start point. Car is going a little slow, that guy passed me, but he's going pretty fast. There, now we're at the speed limit. I had to tap the accelerator to get it to do that. tell it's slowing a lot sooner and dragging itself up to the light uh, that is good in the sense that it's using the regenerative braking versus friction brakes um, but it feels a little like it's a little dragging itself a little too much that's just my opinion I know some people will like it to approach like that and that's perfectly fine path predicting I'm guessing there okay nice acceleration here so it's speed it picks I'm gonna tap it that's a little slow there we go that's better again personal opinion wanting it not quite under the speed limit because I know the traffic in this area and they are not doing the speed limit and I don't want to be someone impeding people with them tailgating me. Accelerating is, is pulsing like it has to shift. It must be because it's emulating the car, gas cars around me. Okay, I'm curious what lane it picks here. I've been noticing it always picks the out the right. Oh, 
the rightmost turn lane. It always seems to pick, no matter how long it is, it doesn't pick the shorter of the two. I was hoping it would pick that one because I wanted to see how the uh, left turn with a curb, if it uh, is better path predicting so it doesn't hit the curb. I have 12.3 on our S and I have to intervene on the inside left turn lane every time because it, it cuts the angle the wrong way. 12.3.1, I haven't been able to test it yet. go. Nice, passing this Mercedes exiting. immediately perfect slowing down tapping the accelerator again thousand feet turn left onto via Joyce Drive now turn left onto via Joyce Drive nice entry into the left turn lane okay it could squeeze between this Y and the truck it's hesitating a little much there but it made it and there we go, FSD beta 12.3.1 on test loop one. 